Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. It is finally sunny and my heart is so, so happy. <laughs> uh, I'm, you know, if you've missed the last few episodes, I've been dealing with a lot of rain and that means I couldn't have my watering can upgraded. I'm not using my watering can much right now and as such, it's kind of hurt me not being able to use it. Alright, um, let's water the crops in here. Call it good. I don't have any crops left to water. All right, yeah, this is this is meant to be. Then I'm gonna chop down all the stuff in here and then head up back to uh, Carmack Cave. I'll be right back. Actually, you know, it doesn't need to be a I'll be right back kind of situation. Um, what we're planning on doing today is we're just gonna be mostly hanging out with people today. We're going to be interacting with the townsfolks and trying to get to the next cave. There's a minor roadblock, but it's not something that, you know, it's unsurmountable, I guess. I don't need any of these grasses, so I'm just kind of throwing them away right now, but I just want to let you know what's up with that. So, besides our normal chores, bronze, nice. I actually haven't gotten bronze in a while. So, I believe these should produce strawberries tomorrow, which is nice, but it's not like we're actually needing them right now. We're doing really well in strawberries. Strawberries are a fantastic gift for, I think, like five or six different people, so we're going to need about that many per day, but we have a few stacks of them. So, we're going to be fine for the two days. We won't be able to produce any extras. Also, I just realized... Oh. I guess I did, oh yeah, I did fill it up right after we crossed the bridge, right? Let's pick these strawberries and deliver them. Fresh strawberries for some pretty fresh people. All right, it's 9 a.m., so let's go say hello to everyone. See what people think about us beating Grimoire. Good morning. You mean there really was a Grimoire there? Yes, there was. Thanks. You took out a Grimoire? Unbelievable, you're the stuff of legends. Are you hurt anywhere? Lately, you're going to more dangerous places than ever. Thanks. You know, I believe you're the first person who's ever gone to Mount Gigant and lived to take to tell about it. I think it said tell, but I read it as yell about it, and I'm just... I don't feel like Ragoon is the kind to just go around screaming, Hi, I went to Mount Gigant! Do come in. Most books state that the Grimoire is a dragon, but there is some debate. All manner of pains have become books, readable for generations to come. That's what... Gr that's what makes books so great. Oh, well, I had trouble reading that. Good morning. Um, some kind of magic book called Swordstorm or something came in. Some legends portray Grimoire as a dragon, but other legends describe it as a different being. I also feel it is not a dragon. So you're calling me a liar? Has the magic book been delivered? It seems the new magic books are not in yet. I guess it's the center part of the shelf? Okay. Swordstorm for 10,200 and Stone Spike for 7,000. Uh, both are fantastic spells that are way out of our budget right now. Um, I will go around buying all the spells and all this and showing it off by the end of the game, but not now. <laughs> I'm assuming, yeah, this is just a new area for that. Away! Oh yeah, there was a dragon on the summit. Is it true there was a grimoire at Mount Gigant? Some people say the grimoire is a messenger of the divine. What do you think now that you've actually fought one? I think that it needed to not be as lame as it was. Like, when it got mad, oh, that was hellfire. But up until that point, that was a pretty easy battle. I kind of got hit a couple times, but I healed off the damage extremely easily. I wouldn't mind nibbling on a slice of grimoire. Seriously, you're talking about eating something. Like, a, a living thing that is supposed to be like a messenger of the... I didn't mean to pull this out. Uh, whoops. I'm not trying to flirt with you, don't worry. I meant to give you pickles. Hey, Tabitha. Grimoire is also a legend in the elf world. It's a dragon, eh? Morning. Grimoire was a dragon and you defeated it? There's more to a person than meets the eye. 
It's been a thousand years. Yes, yes I do. I made a new product, I'm proud of this one, I... Uh, show me what you have. Okay. Now, we have the Agua Sword. Uh, it is 10 attack, enchanted with water magic, and effective against enemies vulnerable to water mat attacks. Whatever. Uh, it is an option. There's a lot of enemies in the game who are weak to water. It isn't very powerful, though. It has less attack than the Longsword, so if you're needing a weapon that's elemental, you can do this. But... I mean, you could also just buy a water spell and use that instead, and that might be a better option. It would not be good against bosses, since bosses have a base resistance to magic, including a resistance to elemental, but, you know, you decide how you want to do it. Claymore, two hands, spear, lance, battle hammer, war hammer now, the battle axe, ball axe, small shield, iron shield, round shield. We're... I don't think I want to pick up the round shield. I think we're fine without it. Um, it's only four more defense, it is a power guard and a topple guard, and that's good. But it's an extra 2,000, 10% of our money, and we're not being affected by anything at this point. I think up until the point where we can actually upgrade our own weapons and things, we're not going to be upgrading anything else. Yeah, that business here. May I speak with you? Blimey, you defeated a dragon! You became the real deal, I... And now, just to be sure, it might use bronze, so I might not be able to use my water pot yet. Might not be able to upgrade it until I go grab some. Can you forge a tool for me? What do you want to forge? If you're holding that now, I can't forge that. Put it in your backpack. Watering can. You don't have a water... Oh. I... I guess I'm holding it. I thought I was holding the hammer. Whoops. Future Gabe interrupting here just to say... Don't upgrade your watering can if you plan to go back to Mount Gigant today. It's a bad idea. You want me to forge a cheap watering can? It'll take two pieces of iron, 450G G in two days. Tis okay? Yeah, that's fine. Got it, I'll do that. Come again in two days. So in two days, we'll be able to water things better. This is important for two reasons. One, you'll be able to do the upgrade, which will be able to hit three spaces, instead of just the one. And more importantly, you'll be able to hold more water, which means you'll be able to water more at, in one trip. It's extremely important in areas like Mount Gigant, Mount, uh, I mean, Clemens Cave, things like that, where it's annoying to get through with a single can of water. Not only are you having to open up areas using water, but you're also having to actually water the crops there, and it's just a long trek. Please come in. Yep. Hmm, there was a dragon there. You keep on saving the big creatures, eh? Yes, yes I am. I'm totally the savior of everything, and totally not just committing... almost genocide? If these things weren't enchanted, these things would all be dead. Please, come in. So Grimoire is a kind of dragon? That's not what I had pictured. These people act like they had any idea what this was. Most people didn't talk about Grimoire, and the people who did, they mentioned it was a dragon. So I don't know why anyone is saying, oh, I didn't think it was a dragon. Just like, what did you picture? A, a freaking just like, snake? I don't know. Morning. Grimoire is a dragon? Are you out of your mind? Grimoire isn't that kind of creature. In other words, I don't think it'd defeat you. I think she meant to say you'd defeat it, but eh, whatever. Uh, we can't actually talk to him until... Right, womp. Okay, I believe we've spoken to almost everyone. We're not gonna talk to Mayor Godwin yet, we don't really have a reason to. Instead, I'm gonna head back into Mount Gigant and take care of the rest of those fields. So, let's -a go. You guys are gonna stick around with me for these trips, because, you know, this is a fairly new dungeon, and spending one day in it isn't isn't cool. You guys don't even know the layout or anything yet, so yeah, you guys have to sit through it. Deal with it. I can't get to the other area. I just gave away my water pot and it's behind a firewall. You know, I'm not always smart. I'm not always smart. Ah, 
that's the problem with giving away your water pot for upgrade. It's why most of the time I never actually have Leo upgrade it. I upgrade it myself when it becomes available after we've gotten the house upgrade, but... Uh, whatever. It's fine. Oh! We got a wind crystal. Nice! So, I guess rather than doing what I plan on doing, I'll just clear all this out and we'll start mining. Silver, gold, earth crystal, scrap iron, more gold, more scrap iron, another earth crystal, more gold. So this is the point in the game you can start earning some obscene amounts of money. Also, we just got an amethyst, which is a new kind of uh, gem. That's also very nice. Okay, let's check all these things out. Last episode, I forgot to actually show these things, so let's take care of it. This is gold. I just got level 9 gold. Holy crap. Uh, 5400 after the level 9 modifier. They're only worth 600 normally, but... You know, that's really good. Alright, we got Amethyst, which are worth 700, as most of the gems are. And, uh, you know, normal stuff otherwise. Ah, uh, here. Earth Crystal, level 1. Crystallized Earth Magic, 160. Same as the other elements. Alright. Let's, uh, pretty sure this is fire. Yeah. So that's rather unfortunate. But I guess we can head into this cave right over here and see if there's anything here. If there's not, then... Eh, I guess we're done here for the day. Oh, cool. We're not quite done here for the day. Okay, we're about done here for the day. We'll just keep the fields all cleared. Alright. Check to be sure nothing spawned on this field right down here. Oh! If you climb up here, it said you can see as far as my homeland. It bugs me. Surely that can't be true. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's all you have to say? Alright, bye. Actually, let's head in here. Anything in this field? Right. I cleared these fields. Never mind. I can't reach any of the other fields that matter, so we're just gonna head back. Okay, let's go hang out with Sharon now. Sharon, I brought you a gift. It's called a fire crystal. Oh. It's Wednesday. Never mind. Scratch my plans. We can't even do that. So... I guess let's head back to Carmite, heal up, and then just start grinding out the rest of the day. You seem to have uncovered the mystery shrouding Grimoire. I feel a little more secure now, but is it true that Grimoire is a dragon? Seriously, what is it with everyone saying, is that really true? How is that possible? And I'm like, Lit literally, I don't know. I have no memory of anything before I came here. I'm new to this area. What the heck is wrong with you people? You really beat a Grimoire? Honest? Okay, I just feel like people think I'm a liar now. Take it. Be my best friend. Do not hit me. Oh. Cheap cloth. Nice. As we run through, it's always nice to get those random drops. They're actually useful for things. For my OCD's sake, let's just fill in these. Skill up, nice. Okay, ship the gold, ship the earth crystal, okay, ship the wind crystal. Okay, took care of that stuff.
Let's head into Tauros. See if anything's spawned in here now. And while we're going through, let's just kill everything. Another little mage. Oh, we gotta drop magic powder. Nice. Another skill up, which is always appreciated. And how about the ghost? We got one. We got the hood. Just trying to get the drops as we go. That way I don't have to spend days grinding them all out. And in their skill up, which, you know, can never hurt. We're teleporting back to the entrance, that way it can actually grab all of these rune points. And a level up. Hey, Silver Wolves, get over here. You only have one drop? And I'm not sure how important the drop is. I know I need at least one, though. Oh well. None this time. Anything from the daemon, I wonder? Yes, yeah, something from the daemon. We got a spear. Nice. We got a lot of wood today as well. Looks like we're not going to make it to Melody's uh, bathhouse today. And that's fine, we can miss it once. Skill up. We're done here now. Or at least we would be if I didn't have rune points sitting right over here waiting for me to pick them up. So let's grab these and then head out. Actually, while we're here, might as well kill this. Nothing. And get our mining level up a little bit. We should actually be doing this on... Yeah, let's head to Mount Gigant and start mining there. Just use up the last of our RP for that. Not only is it a really good way to earn money, but... We need the experience if we plan on upgrading our hammer any further. Skill up. Alright, we got all the good stuff, so let's head down to this mining spot just to use it for experience. Okay, I wasn't sure if this was a junk mining spot or not because there are some that just don't have good odds of getting things, but this one seems to be doing just fine for us. And we've got a silver, which is still worth something. But we've also gotten gold and things like that, which if it's a high level... Ooh. Before we head in... We got one level 10 gold for 6,000. That's freaking fantastic. Six level one gold, which I will just store away because we need a huge amount of gold for all the things we plan on crafting. All right. I can ship the rest of the stuff later. For now, I say we're pretty good. Earth crystal is going to be put away. We've already sold one, and Sharon does not like them as gifts. So, you know, useless for that. Let's see, we don't have any magic powder, so I can store that away. We also don't have any hoods, 
so I can store those away. Uh, we do not plan on doing anything with this spear. It's a level three? Oh. Wow, that's actually level three. Okay, I think that's worth almost 3,000. I'll have to check that to be sure. All right, let's head to bed. <sighs> All right. Let's go. The spring festival is on the 18th of spring. Give a lady cookies to make her happy, Mayor Godwin. We cannot do this. This is one of the festivals that I've mentioned in the past. Um, they're really good events that can incredibly help you when trying to make friends. Uh, this is not one you can participate in the first year. You have to have cookies, and cookies require an oven. Even if you could have bought utensils by now, you cannot buy an oven the first season. It's not possible unless you've cheated. Which, you know, whatever. We don't have an upgraded house, so we can't do it. That's just the short of it. Okay, let's take care of things on the farm here. Clear out everything and then get to work and uh, meet all of our friends. Tomorrow we're getting our watering can back, so we can actually start clearing out those fields once again. I just realized... Oh wow, we're actually almost level 27 swordsmanship. 28 logging, 21 farming, 10 mining, 14 cooking, 3 fishing. We're at 1225 wood, which means we're over 60% of the way there. We're only, you know, an eighth of the way there for the uh, money, but that will soon change. Especially because we have an item sitting in our shipping bin right now that's worth 6,000. I actually don't know why I came in here. I think I came in here out of pure instinct. Just like, oh hey, you need to water the crops. Except there are no crops there to water anymore. Huh. Weird. Alright. Down to Carmite to... I can't water crops. What am I even thinking about? Wow, okay. This is so weird for me. I guess let's head up to Mount Gigant and just farm there for a little bit. Use up some of our RP. This is weird. This is a very weird feeling of not having a watering can because every playthrough I do, I just keep it at the base level up until I upgrade my house. This is just, like, disturbing or something. Okay. Can't cut anything down there. Real. Here we go. Too easy for me. Nice. More wood. More things to deal with. I'm actually really appreciating how many blue and purple uh, grass we're getting. These are actually kind of annoying to deal with. If you don't get a lot of them, then you're kind of boned when trying to make the Rolex tea later. Which is actually good for multiple people. I wasn't even paying attention, I was drinking tea. Which is kind of funny that I think about it. Talking about relaxed tea while drinking honey tea. We got a drop. Nice. Ooh, we got quality skin. That's actually very much appreciated. I'm actually going to look that up real quick. I, we're not going to look it up, I guess. I have a uh, spreadsheet here. Okay, we need a total of four quality skins for all the things that we want to make. So, you know, we're already a quarter of the way there. I guess we only need three for making things, and then one for shipping as well. 
Remember when it took this much HP and RP just to chop down longs? Raguna remembers. So, starting at Mount Gigant, it's a really good place to mine, so just get your mining skill up really high here. That way, by the time you have a silver hammer, you're just so high level it doesn't even matter. Wow, okay. We got a level 9 for 5400, a level 7 for 4200. We got a level 8 for 54? No. 4800? 4800. Okay, so we got, you know, a little bit less than 20,000 right there. As you can see, money is not an issue at this point in the game. You can either sell them in the shops, or you can just sell them in the shipping bin if you just don't want to bother. If you want them in your shipping list and just to have those numbers racking up, then you can totally just do it that way. But whatever is just the easiest for you, I guess. If you need the money now, head to a shop and take care of it there. Also, I just realized that tomorrow is a festival. And assuming that it was Wednesday, aka yesterday, that I gave for my hammer, that means I can't get it back tomorrow. And I also can't get it back on the holiday the day after. So that's kind of unfortunate. So, here's another unfortunate thing. These earth crystals I'm getting, I don't need them anymore. And they're only worth 160 apiece. And I say only because... You know, I can get over 5,000 out of a piece of gold. I can get up to 6,000 out of that piece of gold, actually. I think it's going to be easier just selling them at the shop, that way I can view everything. So real quick, I am going to head into the cave here, grab the rune points that are in the second room, well, I guess third room right up here. Oh, and there are logs spawned in here. That is very much appreciated. Skill up. Let's go sell off our stuff, and I guess just talk to everyone for the day. Hello. Okay, yep, 2700. Very nice. Besides that, uh, I guess I'll just sell off all the stuff I won't be using. 4800, 5400, 4200. Wow, this makes me feel good. Bustin' makes me feel good, feel good, feel good. We're up to 44,000 already. We're already 20% of the way there. Hello. Are you hurt anywhere? Like, uh, lately, you're going to even more dangerous places than ever. The uh, whole capital L and capital Y totally messed me up there. Thanks. We have all sorts of books here, Raguna. It may be worth your while to study some. Wow, we actually have a huge amount of people already, uh, one friendship. Sadly, people like Nicholas, who we give, you know, presents to constantly, aren't friends with us yet. That's kind of messed up, honestly. Alright. I'm going to try something, and I don't know whether it'll work or not, but I'm gonna hope so. He mentioned before he wanted to make a grimoire sword. What happens if we give him a Grimoire Scale? Wow, it's a Grimoire Scale! So this, I can finally fulfill my promise to me, Master. I wait three days. I be hammering away, I. So that means Monday we'll be coming here not only to pick up our watering pot, but also to pick up the Grimoire Sword, or at least see what he's made of it. Wow, you defeated Grimoire! That's amazing. If it was summer, we could swim. Too bad. Yeah, well, if it was now, you could have a ruby. Uh, too good. I'm so happy. Let's go down and see Xavier in the cave. Then we're going to see Sharon over by uh, Casimir Ruins. And then it's all about grinding out for the rest of the day. Thanks, I like the medicinal herb. You really beat a grimoire? Honest? So, while we could actually grab these strawberries now, we don't actually have a reason to. We can't water the crops under there, and honestly, we don't need strawberries at the second. So I'm just going to leave them there. Let them keep growing. They're not going to do anything. They're just going to sit there and be like, oh, Water us! Pick us! And I'll be like, no. Hello. Hey, Sharon. 
Grimoire with dragon? Surely that can't be. Yes, hi Siri, what are you doing talking to me? Stop. That was weird. I didn't say Siri. Even if I did, it doesn't react to that, so I don't know what that was about. Alright, uh, like I was saying, Fire Crystal. Wow, I was looking for a Fire Crystal for so long. I'm so happy to get this. Once again, she likes all the crystals except for Earth Crystals. Do not give her Earth Crystals. And now, back to Mount Gigant. Uh, first things first, though. Swap that out. I should, probably should have been closer. And eh, whatever. We got some gold out of it, at least. And more gold. Hopefully this is the high level stuff, so I don't have to worry about money. If I can get a lot of money very quickly, and, you know, get enough wood, I'll just start making monster barns, and upgrade our house, and take care of everything. We'll have everything we need to by summer. I like how I'm just like, yeah, I think summer 15 should be the day where I upgrade my, uh, house, and that'll be and give us plenty of time for things. And I'm just sitting here, and I'm like, I'm like two weeks into this game, and I already have like 75%, like 60%, 70% of the wood I need. I don't think I'll need to wait until summer, unless I just... Come on. Sadly, we're not getting a lot of drops off these guys. I'm kind of hopeful, you know, but yeah, we did come here today. You always just gotta stay hopeful. We're getting so many good things from mining, at least. Hopefully we get some good drops from monsters soon as well. Mind you, you guys don't really have to worry about monster drops much. I don't expect any of you to be trying to fall along, trying to make one of every item or anything, so... You know, if you see something I'm making eventually, that you really want, or you just, you know, see a guide or something, just go after that one monster. Don't try to go after every monster drop, it's just kinda not worth it. But, I'm trying to make this as informational as I can, you know? I'm currently sitting at over 50,000 G. Very nice. Oh, three level fives. That's very nice, so that's like 9,000. A level six, which is another 3,600, so 12,600. And that's it. Uh, let's go up and take a bath. Then we can go mining again, and then just keep up the process. Was Grimoire really a dragon? How boring. Anyone who thinks that dragons are boring can't be friends with me. I'm sorry, Melody. I did it early once again. I keep thinking it's a lot closer than it is. Skill up. Nice. Alright, we have two level threes. A level six. A level ten. A level four. Two level fives. And that's it. So we essentially got 36 gold right there, which means we got about 18,000, 21,600, which means today we got, uh, 30, I think it's about 39,400 or so. Wow. That is a ridiculous amount of money for one day. But that's what we'll be receiving tomorrow when the shipping bin opens up. Let's head back to Mount Gigant. Or actually, as we're going by, I think there's one more in here. Yep. Perfect. Teleport out, leave, come back. And now just grab some more of these rocks before we head home. So I'm gonna ship the last of my stuff. 
two level tens, which is another 12,000. A level six, which is another 3,600. A level five, another 3,000. And that's everything. Alright, that's everything. I'm going to organize my inventory real quick. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Uh, tomorrow is the festival, or I guess technically today. We'll be going around talking to people. We cannot participate, we cannot give anyone any cookies or anything, but everyone has unique dialogues, so let's see what everyone's thinking about today. I'll see you all next time, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.